Hey, what's up? It's Alicia Malone. Welcome to another Fandango Indie Movie Guide, the show where I get to geek out about indie movies. Before I get into my recommendations, I wanted to mention to you that Detroit, directed by Catherine Bigelow, has now expanded to more theaters. So from this Friday, you'll get to see it in a whole lot more cinemas all around the country. This is her look at the true story behind the 1967 Detroit riots. Looks at racism, it looks at violence, and it's all done through her look lens, the same lens that she uses to look at war. She looked at war on the streets. But I wanted to tell you about some even smaller films that need to be discovered. Let's start with Columbus. This is directed by Cognata and it is quite rare that you see a film these days that you think that guy is an auteur. I saw you at the hospital. Are you from here? Yeah. Do you like it here? I'm really interested in architecture. Yeah, I hear this town is quite the mecca. Cognata is a video essayist whose work has been seen on places like the Criterion Collection. He especially loves Japanese masters like Kurosawa and Ozu. And the latter, Ozu, was definitely well known for keeping a very still camera. And here you can definitely see that influence. Every single frame of Columbus has been perfectly designed and it really shows the relationship between people and architecture. I wanna show you something. This was one of the first modernist banks in America. Who are you? <laughs> God, shut up, I'm just trying to tell you about this building. This movie is stylish, but it's not just about the cinematography, it's also about the performances. Once again, John Cho shows just how brilliant and underrated an actor he is, and Hayley Lou Richardson will make you stop and say, who is that girl? Of course, we saw her in Split and Edge of 17, but this really, really proves that she's set to be a big star. I think she's bright. You of all people should be in college. I just think I should stay here. Do not miss Columbus. Very sweet and totally affecting. I loved it. Next up, a great documentary called Step by Amanda Lippitz. This follows a group of dancers from Baltimore who do step dancing, but more than that, it really follows their path to their true dreams and whether or not these girls can get to go to college. I want them to understand that this is way bigger than Stephanie. Okay, so it's about not making excuses, making sacrifices, having a positive attitude. Because they can make it through step practice, so they can make it through life. Blessin, Corey, and Taylor are the three girls that the documentary focuses on, and they all come from different backgrounds, they are all got their own struggles, but they're all trying to make it, and it's just so inspiring. There are moments that'll definitely make you cry. Are these grades your best? Why does the step team get your best and I don't? I'm trying. School is what got me out of Brooklyn. College is what's gonna get you out of Baltimore. And it just feels completely empowering, particularly for women and women getting together. There is one quote which really, really stuck with me and I think it's completely true. If you come together with a group of powerful women, the impact will be immense. Yes! We stand here today on the precipice of the future. Go ladies! Woo! Try and see Step if it's playing near you. It's out this weekend. Step is life. And last but definitely not least, a film that I hope people will see, even just to see the stars who are very, very famous. It's called Wind River. My family's people were forced here, stuck here for a century. That snow and silence, it's the only thing that hasn't been taken from them. I need emergency assistance. The Wind River Indian Reservation. You might know the name Taylor Sheridan, particularly if you watch Sons of Anarchy because he was an actor in that series, but he was also the screenwriter behind Sicario and Hell or High Water. Wind River is the film that he has written and directed, and it is a very, very impressive directorial effort. <laughs> This is a homicide. It's kind of like a western crime film. It's set in the snow, so instead of the hot desert, it's the isolating cold. Wolves don't kill unlucky deer. They kill the weak ones. You don't think I can make it? Out here, you cannot blink. 
I once, not ever. The movie will not only keep you on the edge of your seat with solving this murder and doing the procedural crime drama so, so well, but it also explores a community of people that I don't think we see often enough in film, American Indians. And as a very interesting layer of gender dynamics, I cannot wait to see Wind River once again. It is out in theaters this weekend, so try and track it down if you can. Out here you survive or you surrender. So as well as checking out Detroit, there are three fantastic indie films that you should definitely try and see, or at least note down for when it comes to your city. Columbus is so beautiful. Step is a fascinating documentary, and Wind River will keep you on the edge of your seat. Do any of those films take your fancy? Let me know in the comments below, or you can tweet me at Alicia Malone. I'll see you soon. Bye.